Hello, O-Doers. My name is Jose Ignacio, and in this series of videos, we're going to be going over a few different topics. Now, in this intro in particular, we're going to learn some of the ways that Odoo helps you generate leads, or, you know, the other phrase, potential customers. Now, Lead generation is the process of finding new potential customers, and it's essential to growing your following, expanding your customer base, increasing awareness of your brand, and finally creating new business opportunities, which, you know, as a business, we all love. Now here at Stealthywood, our marketing team works hard to generate interest in the company through our website, advertisements, newsletters, events, and more. These guys get out there. Now we want to keep track of the people who show interest, people who we could call leads, so that our sales team can convert them into opportunities in sales. Now, Odoo's CRM application allows us to not only keep track of leads, but also to generate them using our website and email. For example, let's say we send out a mailing or advertisement with a call to action. Very simple thing. Sign up for a free trial. Odoo will automatically create a lead in the CRM app when people sign up for that free trial on our website. Or maybe they visit our website, but instead of signing up for a free trial, they register for an event or they book an appointment with us. Now, Odoo can automatically create leads from that. Or if they don't sign up for anything, but they email us for more information, Odoo, you guessed it, can automatically create a lead from that. And if they don't do any of these things, well, Odoo can still create a lead if they just do a few, you know, certain things and meet certain criteria. Now, Enough chit chat, as I always like to say. Let's get started and jump into the Odoo database. All right, welcome back, Odooers. Now, here we are on our website, which is very beautiful, as I always do say. Stealthywood websites are always very pretty. Now, this is a page for somebody to sign up for a free trial. They can test our furniture for 90 days because we are that confident. Now, let's say our mailing or advertisement led our prospective customers to this page. Now they could sign up for our free trial, but what does that look like on the back end? Well, did you know that we can edit it to look any way that we want it to? All we have to do is just click up here in this edit button, give that a second to load, and we have a lot of these things pop up. Now, I go into detail about form building on your Odoo website in another video, so be sure to check that out. Now, if we want to edit something like a form specifically, in this case, we click into the form, and then you'll notice it swaps over here to a different page. Now, within the form, we can also change a few other things, such as the sales team, salesperson, mark fields, etc. In our case, we want to change action. Now, what we want it to say here is what it's already selected, which is create an opportunity. Now, what does that do and what does that mean, you might be asking? Well, this tells Odoo to automatically create a lead whenever someone fills out this form. So everything looks good here. I actually like the way that it looks, so we'll hit save. Now, once this refreshes, the form is ready for testing. So now if anyone fills this out, Odoo will automatically create a lead. So in our case, let's do that. We're gonna make up a few different things. Now, in our case, we're gonna change some of these things out. We're gonna put something like John Smith, very real name, phone number. We want something very legitimate. So we'll pick my area code, 408-123-4567. There we go. Now our company, we're gonna go with, uh, we, we gotta pick a fruit. A lot of companies use fruits. So we're gonna go with pear because we can't use the other fruit that we all know. <laughs> now what quantity and type of furniture? We want 12 tape, our desks. Comments, red desks only. Please. And once we're done with that, we're gonna go ahead and hit submit. Now, what does that look like and what did I just do? Well, if we go back over to our dashboard and we head into CRM and we go over here into leads, you'll notice what I just did. Now we've created a lead. We can see that a new lead has been created from filling out that website form. We click into it, we're gonna get a lot of information. Now once I'm inside of here, I can actually do a lot of stuff. I can edit this and select a few powerful features, such as the salesperson, the sales team. I could, add, I could add a few different things. Now, with this lead, we could also enrich the lead, which I talk about in another video, so be sure to check that out. We could also mark the lead as lost if we go up here in case, you know, it doesn't work out. 
And I have another video on wins and losses if you're interested. Now, our sales team could also convert this lead into an opportunity so that it appears on the CRM pipeline and not just within leads. But everything looks good here, so we're gonna go ahead and head out. And now, onto our next scenario. Let's say that our prospective customer was not ready to sign up for a free trial just yet. They're a little bit shy, but they want more information. They might reach out to the contact email we have listed on the website. Now we can configure Odoo to create a lead anytime an email is sent to the address using Sales Team's email aliases. And how do we do that? Well, we go up here over to our configuration. We select Sales Teams. And we're going to select the US Sales Team. And you'll notice something once we hit Edit. Here we can set the Sales Team's email alias. Sorry about that little low doopsie on that pronunciation. Now we want to make sure that the leads checkbox, by the way, is checked. And that's just so that whenever someone sends an email to this email address, Odoo will automatically create a lead. And we love automation so very much. Now, otherwise, if we don't, it will create an opportunity in our pipeline. So once this is done, we're gonna go ahead and hit save. Now, this concludes our setup for all of this prep, but let's jump into Google to see what this looks like on the other end of this once we send an email. Okay, Odooer, so here we are inside of our email and we need to send a quick email out to this sales team. So what are we gonna do? Subject is, I want to buy stuff. Please sell me stuff. I am very rich, period. Gotta have a little quick signature, dash rich customer. Very nice, I might add. So once that this is done, we're gonna go ahead and send this out. Now, I want you all to know that a good thing to note is that Odoo offers plugins for both Outlook and Gmail that allow you to integrate your email inbox with Odoo. And I have another video about that, and I will keep saying that for any of these helpful areas. So check that out if you're interested. So we're gonna go ahead and hit send, and we'll see what happens now. All right, welcome again. Now that we've finished sending out that email, let's find out what happened with that lead that we just created with our email. So we're gonna go ahead and head into CRM and we're gonna go over here back into leads. And what do you know, there it is. Although it is going to ping me from my own email here. I wanna buy stuff, so let's click into this. Now here it is, you know, I wanna buy stuff. And there, if we look on our right over here on the chatter, we could see, please sell me stuff. I am very rich, rich customer. Now, as we can also see here, by the way, the subject of the email becomes the name of the lead and the body of the text of the email appears in the chatter. Now, another way that someone also might want to learn more about us is by attending a virtual or in-person event. Now we have a whole setup of tutorial videos on just about anything to do with events. So be sure to check those out as well. And there is also one entire video about lead generation. So definitely check that out if you need help with that as well. Now for now, I'll just go through the basics of creating leads from event registrations as well. So we're gonna go back over here to our Odoo dashboard and you guessed it, we're gonna click into events. And as you can see, it's uh, pretty much empty, but let's fix that. So we're gonna go into configuration and there it is, lead generation. Now we need to create a rule because rules help us here. Now, what is our name? In this case, annual conference attendees. And the event is going to be, let's see what we pick for here, Stealthy Wood Annual Conference. <laughs> and for lead type, well, what do we want? We want it to be a lead in this case. So once that we're done here, we hit save. And would you look at that, we have a new rule. Now when someone registers for the conference, Oda will create a lead from the registration. But I always believe in practicing what we teach. So let's go ahead and register. So as you can see here now, once that it loads, we are in a new window. And we're trying to register for Stealthy Woods Annual Conference. We're gonna do this with a very nice real name and a very nice real email. All right, and then we're off. Now, what did that look like? Well, if we go back over here onto Odoo for our dashboard and we click into CRM, 
And we go back again into leads. We could see the new lead in the list. Ah, and I always talk about this, but automation is beautiful. Awesome. So now on to our next scenario. Let's say that our prospective customer is so interested in our products that they want to schedule an appointment with us. Well, we can actually fix that as well. And what we're going to do for that is we're going to go to the Odoo dashboard and we're going to click on our website. And we're also going to go directly into our website once that this loads. And we're back here to our beautiful website and we're, go, we're going to go ahead and, and head on over here to our appointments area. Sorry about that. Lost my place. And you guessed it, we're gonna click on free consultation. Now, here we're offering a free consultation with our furniture experts. We can configure this page by clicking back up here onto edit, and we're gonna edit it in the back end. So now, once that we click something else as well, because we actually went into the wrong menu, my apologies, we're gonna click over here to the drop end, or the drop down menu, we can edit this in the back end. Now, what happens here? We need to make sure to check create opportunities. And there's a reason for this. It's so that Odoo will create opportunities from these appointments. Now, what else do we need here? Well, Jose, we need available employees. You must add an employee and availability in order for the appointment feature to work. We'll set their availability in the availability tab as well. So first we gotta pick an employee. Who are we gonna pick? We're gonna pick me, Jose Admin. And here we go, availability, and now it's time. Now, when am I available? Well, we're gonna add three lines here. We're gonna pick Monday. And then we're gonna add another line. Sorry about that. We're gonna do Wednesday. And for our last one, we're gonna pick, actually, we're gonna pick Tuesday. So we want these to be a little bit sequential. And now, once that we're done here, oop, there we go. I'm gonna save that. Now we're done. And before I forget, I did actually forget something. We need a question here for the consultation now. Our question is going to be pretty simple. What size is your company? Question mark. We're gonna go ahead and hit save and close. And we're done, everything is done. So we're gonna go ahead and hit save. Now we're fully configured. But again, we gotta practice what we teach. So we're gonna head back over here into appointments. And we're going to schedule an appointment. And here we are with a very real name again and a very real email and confirm. Now, I think you can guess where this is going. If we go back over here into Odoo and we click into CRM, and where are we gonna head into this time? Now we can see that an opportunity has been created in the new stage of our pipeline. And isn't that interesting? Now, scheduling an appointment creates an opportunity directly in the pipeline instead of creating a lead that needs to be converted into an opportunity. And this is because if someone schedules an appointment with us, Odoo recognizes that they already have a serious interest in our products because they want a one-on-one. -on -one. Now, finally, if a prospective customer visits our website but doesn't fill out any forms or contacts us at all, Odoo can still record them as a lead if they met certain criteria, and that criteria is what we're looking for. Now, in order to check this, we're going to go ahead and head in into configuration, and we're going to click into settings. And once that that loads, we're going to go ahead and look for visits to leads at the bottom. And as long as that's selected, we can go ahead and hit save. Now, this feature requires you to use credits. And credits are things that you can purchase by clicking the buy credits link over here that we see, or actually, sorry, down here that we can see. If we click on the link buy credits, it'll show you that, you know, we have 20 credits in the top right. And this is very interesting because we pretty much need to make sure that you have credits in order to use this feature. Now, Odoo gives you 20 credits for free so that you can try it out. Now, you can learn more about credits and everything from our in-app purchase documentation. But everything looks good here. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go back over here into CRM and we're gonna select configuration and we're gonna go ahead into visits to lead rules. Now we're gonna do some important stuff here. As you notice, it's pretty empty. Now here we can set the criteria that we're looking for in our leads. On the right, 
Odoo tells us that one credit is consumed per visitor that matches our chosen criteria. So we're going to hit create. And there it goes. We can see that now appears right there as I just talked about it. Now, for this rule, we'll target Belgian visitors. And Stealthywood is very popular with companies in Belgium. Our real name is Belgian Visitors. VIPs, because they're very important people there. And for country, what other country will we pick other than Belgium? Now, our industries, who are we targeting? Well, we're targeting tech, because we're all about tech here. Now, we find that technology companies tend to be very interested in our product. They love chairs because they need to use them. Company sizes, we're going to be looking for companies with 500 to 5,000, because we target big boys. Now, we like to sell in bulk, so we're looking for large companies as well, and that's another reason. Now, what type do we have here? We have a lead, not an opportunity. Now, we want to make sure that this type is set to lead, but you can also choose for Odoo to create an opportunity from these visit visitors, and that's pretty much up to preference. Now, we need a sales team, and which sales team will we use? The Europe sales team, because U.S. would not make sense in this case. Then once we're done, we go ahead and hit save. Now Odoo will use visitors' IP addresses and related contact information to determine whether they fit this criteria. And if they do, Odoo will automatically create a lead for them in the CRM app. And that concludes everything. Great job if you did all of this as well. So as we've seen, there are tons of ways that Odoo can help find new customers by generating leads from your website and a few other ways. Now, that's all for now, Odooers. And remember, it's Odoo, not Odon't.